So, in this video, I'm gonna explain you how to make shrimp croquettes and cheese croquettes. Yep. But, I don't have a fryer. You don't have a fryer? And you're Belgian? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Well, I recommend you to buy a fryer then. Yeah? But, I'm gonna buy it. One day. When you go to the North Sea, it's one dish you have to eat is the shrimp croquettes. And now I have plenty of time, I'm gonna make it a bit my way. And I hope you're gonna enjoy this one. So normally the shrimp peels, you put it with your milk, but I'm gonna use a bit of fish stock and I'm gonna add some herbs. All the ingredients are in the description down below. And of course, I'm gonna use my own thyme and bay leaves. So add everything with the milk and let it simmer on low fire. So what we need for the filling, we need a bit of butter, flour, egg yolk, shrimps of course, have a bit of gelatin, jelly, and a little bit of cream, and a bit of lime. Cover it with some plastic and put it in the fridge for the whole night. Well, at least 12 hours. See you in a bit. Well, no, see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. For the cheese croquettes, I'm gonna use two kinds of cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want but it's better to use old cheese or like hard cheese. I have a semi-hard cheese, it's called a cabriolet. I cannot drive a cabriolet, I don't have it, but I have the cabriolet in cheese. And out Brugge. So it stays the same, flour, butter, milk, heat up, salt, pepper, and at the end, we're just gonna add one uh, egg yolk and the cheese and it goes into the fridge for at least 12 hours. Same as the shrimp croquettes, put it in a tray and put it in the fridge for at least 12 hours. Cheers! Oh yeah, and you already pushed the button of subscribe? Ah, oh, it's just one click. Top three. Now with the day after, and now we're gonna start to put it in first flour, then egg white. And then in breadcrumbs or panko. If you have panko, the Japanese bread cup is even better, but I'll have it. And it's also the moment to stay hydrated. And I'm gonna drink a waisa. Jawohl, ganz geil. Mm. So the waisa is actually a wise beer, a, yeah, a wheat beer. Very hoppy. And wheat beers goes really well with any kind of fish. That's, that's really a tip. Et qu'est-ce qu'on dit? Merci Brasil la scène. Comment me le bec? Some fun facts about shrimps. The 29th of April is a national scampi day. And the 9th of May is a national shrimp day. So we're almost there. So, you know, you have to eat shrimps then. And they need from egg to shrimp, 16 different kind of steps. That's, yeah, 
Well, it's pretty complicated. And the shrimp can have 10 legs. Well, only have two arms. Just perfect to serve me a beer. That's the only thing we need, right? So stay hydrated guys and stay home, stay safe. And cheers. So this space is kind of sticky. You can use like a scraper or you can use two spoons with hot water. The water makes it not sticky. So first flour, then egg white, and then in the breadcrumb. Ta-da! And now the cheese croquettes. Just do the same. First flour, then egg white or the whole egg and breadcrumbs. And that's it. So France is known for its cheese as well from the Netherlands, but in Belgium, we have a lot of cheese as well. You have to know every kind of Trappist or Abbey beer has its kind of cheese and sometimes bread. So what you need, Bread, cheese, and a beer. Perfect. I love the way Belgium thinks. And some fun facts about cheese. Cheese was invented by accident, actually 4,000 years ago, by accident. You know, accidents also happen in front of the car or in the back end of the car, if you see what I mean. And they are hard cheese, soft cheese, blue cheese, yellow cheese, smelly cheese, not so smelly cheese, soft cheese, hard cheese, and creamy cheese, blue cheese, yellow cheese, white cheese, a lot of cheese. Okay, the croquettes need to be baked in a fryer, but I don't have a fryer, so I'm gonna use a pot, but be very careful if you use a pot, I don't like that, it's very dangerous. Merci, au revoir et bonsoir. Un frais tendu, c'est Zimbrisso. Dankjewel.